Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we are going to see the most frequently asked MCQs on the topic kinematics and dynamics. So let's begin. First, inverse of a matrix X given becomes equal to so the matrix X is nothing but an identity matrix and the inverse of an identity matrix is same as it is. So the answer here will be B. Second, Rank of the matrix Y given again given is an identity matrix which is equal to 1, 2, 3 or 4. So the rank of the matrix is 4 as it is a 4 by 4 matrix. Next question. Trace of a matrix Y given is found to be equal to. Now to calculate the trace of a matrix is nothing but adding the diagonal elements. So this is 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6. So adding of this diagonal elements will give you 6. So the answer is 6. Next question. Forward kinematics problem in robotics aim to determine the joint angles of the manipulator, position and orientation information, forces or torques required or links and offset or joint angles of different joints. And the answer is position and orientation information of the end effector of a manipulator of known geometry for a given set of joint angles. Next, which of the following statements is false regarding the kinematics analysis of Minimover a 5 degree of freedom senior manipulator robot. So Minimover is a 5 DOF robot. Its forward kinematics has a unique solution. Its inverse kinematics has a unique solution, its inverse kinematics has multiple solutions or forward kinematic analysis is to be done first before carrying out the inverse kinematics. So which statement is false? So according to this, the inverse kinematics has a unique solution. So as you know, inverse kinematics have multiple solutions. So this one is the wrong statement, others are all right. Next, which of the following statements is false? Jacobian is nothing but multidimensional form of derivative. Jacobian relates the Cartesian velocity of a manipulator with its joint velocity. To determine singularity condition of a manipulator, the determinant of its Jacobian matrix is equal to zero. A manipulator gains at least one degree of freedom at its singularity condition. And the answer is the last one, which is the false statement. Next, forward dynamics problem of a robot aims to. So the previous question was forward kinematics. This is forward dynamics. Uh, same options. And the answer here is determine the joint angles, velocities and acceleration of a given values of joint torques. So for forward kinematics, we have the position and orientation and forward Forward dynamics, we have the joint angles and velocities acceleration. Next, which of the following can have a positive value, a negative value and also become equal to zero? Mass moment of inertia, product of inertia, neither mass moment of inertia, product of inertia or area moment of inertia. And the answer here is area moment of inertia can have all the values. Next, in dynamic analysis of a robot, Moment of inertia is used to, the options are given and for the moment of inertia, the answer is determine the effect of mass distribution of the robotic link in the expression of a joint torque. So the distribution of mass is very important in the robot to maintain its center of gravity. So that is moment of inertia. Next to learn robotics, which of the correct sequence is to be followed. So the correct sequence is first we have to find the kinematics, then you have to do the trajectory planning, then you have to do the dynamics. Then our whole robot structure is ready. For an ideal frictionless rotary robotic joint, it talks expression consists of gravity, Coriolis or centrifugal terms, inertia terms or inertia, gravity, Coriolis or centrifugal terms and the answer is the last one. So for the frictionless body, we have to get the expression of all these things. Next question, which body arm configuration of a robot 
have a disadvantage of complex kinematic modeling polar coordinate body arm assembly cartesian coordinate body arm assembly cylindrical body arm assembly or selective compliance assembly of a robot arm and the answer is polar coordinate body arm assembly next total number of kinematic parameters needed to specify the kinematic configuration of a five axis robot 12 20 16 or 24 now to solve this question you have to just multiply 5 into 4 that is 4 are nothing but the dh parameters as you know the joint offset joint angle those are the four dh parameters so 5 multiplied by 4 will be 20 so the answer is 20 same question where we have been asked for a four axis robot so with the same solution 4 multiplied by 4 will be 16 so for four axis robot the answer is 6 similar way if they asked for a six axis robot then the answer will be 6 fours are 24 so the answer is 24 next select the kinematic parameter which are variable for a revolute joint of a robotic arm link twist angle joint angle joint distance or link length and the answer is joint angle select the kinematic parameter which is variable for a prismatic joint so for a prismatic joint as you know the joint distance is variable next which of the following statements is true forward dynamics of a robotic manipulator may have multiple solution but inverse dynamics will have a unique solution then the opposite of it and the answer is the first that is the forward dynamics of the robotic manipulator will have multiple solution but inverse dynamic will have a unique solution next again similar type of question which statement is true so the dynamic analysis of a manipulator with flexible links can be carried out so this is the true statement out of all next the forward kinematics of a polar architecture robot without considering the wrist assembly will have three joint variables which are angles two joint variables that are angles and a joint variable which is a distance one joint variable which is an angle two joint variables which are distance or all the joint variable are distances so for polar architecture two joint variables are angles and the joint variable is a distance so two are variable and one joint variable is a distance this you can see in my first video lecture on first chapter the skara robot has as you know the skara robot has 4 degrees of 4 degrees of freedom and 4 into 4 will be 16 which architecture do you think the manipulator has polar with a roll twist cylindrical with a yawing wrist skara with a rolling wrist or cartesian with a rolling wrist so as you know the cylindrical with a yawing wrist is a right architecture select the false statement so out of this the false statement is multiple solution exist and unique solution do not exist for the inverse kinematic problem similar to the previous questions we have seen next for the constraint jacobian matrix the dimension is same as the degree of freedom the rank is same as the degree of freedom if the nullity does not change when the constraint is added the constraint is redundant and if the nullity does not change when the boundary condition is added the boundary constraint is redundant and the answer is c next question a rotary joint connects two rigid bodies in 3d space which of the following is true so the for the rotary joint a system of two rigid bodies have 7 degrees of freedom so if two rigid bodies are attached they should have 7 degrees of freedom the jacobian matrix for a spatial manipulator moving in 3d space cannot be obtained by differentiation of a vector valued function a jacobian matrix for a serial robot is a 6 into n matrix where n is the number of joints the spherical joint variable for 3 degrees of freedom 
we have theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 so for spherical joints you know we have the three angles for pure translation linear link velocity can be taking the time derivative of homogeneous transformation matrix become rotation matrix is varies constant 0 or 1 and the answer is constant from robot forward kinematics you can find target coordinates length of each link angles of each point or twist angle so from robot forward kinematics you can get the target coordinates that is the coordinates of the end effector next the position of any point in its work space can be obtained through forward kinematics backward kinematics inverse kinematics forward dynamics so position of any point can be for using forward kinematics in inverse kinematics we can find angles of each point the length of each point the angle each point the position of each point and the answer is angles of each point that is the inverse kinematics from the coordinates we get the angles angles of links and joints the situation of a position and an orientation are an entity called as frame link joint or transformation and the answer is frame the representation of three set of rotations frame are called dash euler angles transformation angle translation angles or orientation angles and the answer is euler angles next the distance measured along a line that is mutually perpendicular to the both the axes in the dh notation is called link length link twist link parameter or joint variable and the answer is link length the number of solution for the inverse kinematic problem of the given 2r planar robot is dash 6 3 4 or 2 and the answer is 2 the space where end defector can reach every point from all the orientation is called reachable workspace manipulator's workspace dexterous workspace or no workspace and the answer is dexterous workspace how many solution it can be obtained by two link robot 1 2 3 or 0 and the answer is 2 the study both velocity and static force leads to matrix entity called jacobian manipulator cartesian manipulator dexterous manipulator or cylindrical manipulator and the answer is jacobian manipulator the jacobian matrix defines the link between the end effector's velocity and joint velocities by 6 into n matrix so remember for jacobian matrix it is always 6 into n next the axis of rotation itself may be changing with time is called linear and angular velocity linear velocity angular velocity or linear or angular acceleration and answer is angular velocity it changes with change in time the mapping between force applied to end effector and resulting calculate by jacobian matrix orientation matrix position matrix or translation matrix and the answer is jacobian matrix the angular velocity is defined as the rate of change of linear displacement with respect to time rate of change of linear velocity with respect to time rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time or rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time so angular velocity is nothing but rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time same type of definition with same options but the question is different the linear velocity is defined as rate of change of linear displacement with respect to time so linear word linear is same and velocity is with respect to displacement same as previous now next the linear acceleration is defined as the rate of change of linear velocity with respect to time so your acceleration corresponds to velocity so keep that in mind so linear linear is same acceleration corresponds to velocity and finally the angular acceleration is defined as 
angular rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time.